So I discovered something today and I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys and that's what I'm going to do today. Way back in November 2008, my first book was released but the actual official book launch happened only on the Valentine's Day of 2009. I had just passed out of college back then and I was staying in Gurgaon and today if I think about it, it seems as if a whole era has passed by. But something which is very interesting to see is that I seem to be investigating still the same ideas which I was investigating in my first book. The questions that I had posed in my first book, my recent books, the part I left with you and love to hurt you seem to answer those questions. And it was quite amusing to see my younger self because I could very well see that there were so many questions being thrown at me and some of them I didn't even understand and I was still trying my best to just come up with the best possible satisfying answers for the audience. The book launch happened at the landmark bookstore Gurgaon and it was my favorite bookstore and I used to go to that bookstore every single day after office. At times just browse through books and at times just buy the ones that I liked. And around that time, it was so overwhelming for me to see that the book that I had written was finding its readers from the same shelves from which I had picked so many of my favorite books. I found a video clip of my first ever book launch, by the way, if I haven't made it clear yet. Something really heartwarming to see was that my friends, all of them, they were helping me so dedicatedly for this book launch that watching all of that now it still warms my heart you guys know who you are some of you were on stage with me some of you were a part of the whole launch some of you were helping me off stage and just doing the best that could be done around that time and thank you so 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 much so without further ado let me just play that clip for you uh, and uh, take it in good spirit watch it laugh make fun if you want to just have a good time uh, but uh, a word of caution the clip has really bad audio so so the audio goes on and off at times and there are certain disturbances also which uh, which are really not good so just warning you in advance that the audio is not good anyway guys uh, go ahead watch the video uh, i hope you'll like it cheers an unconditional situation where no condition applies Probably that's why I crumpled that note that day and five years later when I saw her at the station, I couldn't go and find her. Sitting on the hill and I asked Manisha, what is love? I think it's being happy and making someone happy without any conscious effort. So, are we trying to say that I need to be subconscious at it or fall unconscious to make somebody happy or? Because essentially I don't think I can do anything in love or like subconsciously other than being conscious but if it is supposed to come so naturally I wonder what Pragya would say to that It's not really about having the person with you if you are in love You can just be, you know, you are in love and that's all that matters So I can actually go to one of these Valentine's parties today as a single Why not? And I still ask the question what is love in spite of being a character in this book, I am not clear about it, so I would like to ask Rahul. Rahul, what is love? And I take your leave. I just happened to start thinking about it one day myself. What is love? Then I started observing people and asking them, what do you think is love? What should be a relationship like? And uh, it turned out everyone was confused. No one has a clear idea. What is a relationship that they want? They have some some visions about the person they want to end up being with. They they have some imagination about the kind of relationship they want. Bring it down, they are confused themselves. So I <laughs> the people I came across, which happened to be a, a huge number because I went on talking to people extensively on the buses, trains, malls. Everywhere. Um, I've uh, also worked with Rahul for a couple of months, probably more than that. I've been the most evil bully that I could have been in office. About uh, the book, one thing that I would like to tell you more than the question, this is more of, a, of an acknowledgement that uh, in that short span of time that I worked with you, um, what I've learned from you is that there's one working with you. And also the fact that if you really want to get something, where really you want to do something, 
might just go ahead and do it. And you've done it, you've written this book, and uh, whosoever has gone through it, I'm sure has learned something from it as well. And that's what's important. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, I would like to. Oh, yeah, sure. Next book. And what is it about? I hope Rushi is coming back in that. <laughs> well, Rushi is going to be back. <laughs> And working on it, let's see what happens. When my son say, I'm not too busy. Nice answer. Okay. Rahul, what what do you think that actually brought you down to writing? Oh. When and how did you get inspired about this book and writing in itself? Uh, it just happened that uh, okay, I wrote because I saw a lot of people not reading. So I thought let's let's make them read, you know. So so let's give them a simple book probably which which is uh, so simple that you don't feel that you're actually reading really any theory at all. It so happened that I met someone on Orkut one day. She happened to be from uh, my school back there in Jalandhar and uh, instead of her display picture, she had, I think, Sarit must have heard the story like a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> so she had... You're good at telling stories. <laughs> so instead of her display picture, she had this thing written in bold letters which said history sucks. I kind of got offended by that and I said that history does not suck. She said it does. I said it doesn't. Uh, ten times I said that. Ten times she said that back. And then I was like, if if you're saying history sucks, what you're saying is you suck because history is the story of your culture. It's the story of your existence, and hence your story. So if that sucks, then you suck. And then she was like, uh, no reply for like some ten seconds. And then it was like, whatever history sucks. I was like, maybe have a bad history teacher, but uh, don't. Give such strong comments. Don't pass such strong comments. And then I didn't see any any uh, positive uh, effect of that. So I turned around and I said, "Okay, what do you do in your free time?" She said, "Oh, I shop, and you know, I go watch movies. I listen to music. I watch television." And uh, I'm like, "Okay, do you do you ever read?" She was like, "No, I don't." And why would I? Because when I'm free, why would I sit and study? And then I was like, "Okay, you know, it's not studying. It's it happens to be one of the one of the oldest." means of entertainment and uh, she completely disagreed. I was like, you meet me on tomorrow. You come online tomorrow and, and then you see. So I just drafted the first chapter and I sent it across. And then, then uh, she read and she went, okay, what happens next? So I said, meet me online tomorrow. She came back again tomorrow. I had another chapter ready. I sent it across. And then this happened for like, this went on for like a good 10 days. Then I said, then she kept on asking. And then I said, you know, you've been reading a book all this while. That's why I got writing the book. So it's basically for the people who don't read. And then, uh, is Benny around? Because he would really butcher me. Okay. So Benny is not very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's back. Oh. <laughs> there is Benny. <laughs> okay. Nice, okay. No, no, yeah. Benny, you want to ask something? Raul, I have a question. Uh, we talk in person day. What percentage of your character can we see that Raj? Okay, the people who know me here, what percentage of my character do you see in Raj? 100 and 1%. I'm a bit confused because after reading the book, I mean, you doesn't look like. So one thing is very obvious, you can confuse very well. I used to think that the world has given us confusion, so we should give it back. Uh, everyone, like everyone else, I also have very distinct characters at different times. Yes, I think the book uh, carries some part of Rahul. Not all the no. part, but whatever part he carries of Raj carries is Rahul. It is both Rahul than Raj, but yeah. Raj is completely pulled out from Rahul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how would you rate your own writing? Oh God, don't ask. <laughs> so, I, I just happened to read it again and I was like, who has written this? But uh, is it justified to put put words in paper and come out with a book when you are in this learning stage? <laughs> that is that the publisher decides, not the writer, believe me. <laughs> publisher just, uh, I mean, publisher may be looking at it from a bad standpoint that today these books are working. See, it, but it, I'm talking about uh, any author who actually puts his name to a work. See, uh, different things are for different people. So it just happens that it's not something cannot be liked by everyone. So that's how it. See, I felt people 
would enjoy it, I put it down. And uh, that's how I got writing, and that's that's why I that's why I took it to the to the proper. Uh, you believe in doing something, you go ahead, do it, and then you think about it. <laughs> so that's very uh, a whole part of lesson I learned from you. Other than that, uh, any other questions? Okay, so Rahul is around, and if anybody wants to have this book and get it signed from Rahul, he is here. So you can have an author signed book for yourself. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here and for raising Rahul. Thank you.